Hello, welcome to my another video. This time, this is the continuation of my previous video about scraping. So now, I want to explain about uh yeah in my previous video that I explained to you that to get the cookie you must login in the browser first, right? So here I login in this web. And then I get the content like this. And then after that, you get the cookies using more tool, developer tool. And then check the application and check the cookies here. You can see here this is the variable and the value. The value is just some random string. But actually, you can just using the python script so actually you can just script you can just build a script to get the cookie and the library that we need is just py call and then this is the option that that we add so here first i post i get i add the post field here and then as you as you know that in the login page okay let me get the login page in the login page as you know that we must know first the name for the input so for the user its input name is user and for the password is password this is that you need the basic knowledge about HTML, I think. Okay, now you know that why I am writing it like this. So, user equal user and password equal pass. And then, to separate them, you using the symbol like ampersand like this. And then, you after that in line 15 you say that in this script that save the cookie in the file of save.cookie so when you are when you successfully login you save the cookie in this file named save.cookie okay so this script uh, we will use it we will use this to get the cookie file Okay, just let's run this. Get cookie. And look like it's success. And if you're curious about the cookie file, it's something like this. So this is the cookie file. This is the variable name and this is the random string. Okay, now let's back to the basic or our vanilla scrapper. So, if we just run this without the cookie file or cookie variable, you will get something like this. Item three. Yeah, you will be get redirected to the login pack. And now I want to using the cookie file that I already found before. So here I set the parameter pcall.cookie file and then the next parameter is the file name of the cookie file let's run this and gotcha you get the content like this now we have a capture like this and then if you get the situation that you must solve the capture first i want to explain to you about yeah I know this is the old variation of the capture, but this is not hard 
for you to understand so how capture work is the server will generate the random image that contain a digit or character like this and then how the server know what capture that you saw is they are using here they are using capture id like this in this case the capture ID, the capture id is here and then every capture id will be the value and then its value is here the one six six nine seven nine like this and then i to solve this usually you will you must have a what's here capture this is basically the capture breaker you can using you can search this in github or google yeah yeah as you can see in github you can find many many capture breaker or capture recognition i think you can try it one by one and find the best yeah my video the